After its debut at 2014 Auto Expo, Hero has again showcased its HX 250R bike at the 2016 Auto Expo. The bike will be launched in the country in the coming days and it will fight for the market space here with the likes of Honda CBR 250R and KTM RC200. Powered by a 249cc engine, the HX250R does 0 to 100 kmph in 9 seconds. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, follow our YouTube channel here on YouTube. Hero Motor Corp has unveiled the XF3R concept at the Auto Expo 2016. The concept is being showcased with an eye towards providing bike lovers a hint of what Hero has in store for them in the future. It has a traditional Street Fighter style headlight along with inverted fork, mesh type alloy wheel design, Pirelli Sport Demon tires, a single sided mono shock and swing arm, twin port exhaust, and LED tail lights. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. The XF3R concept has been unveiled by Hero Moto Corp at the ongoing Auto Expo 2016 at Greater Noida. The XF3R gives a glimpse into the future design language of Hero Moto Corp. That is why Hero calls it the design concept vehicle. According to Hero officials, the design language used in the XF3R will be used in the future naked models. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. The new and youthful Honda Navi is here. 
It has been launched at a price of Rs 39,500. Made available in five different colors, the Navi primarily targets young people who want something fun to ride. Powered by a 110cc engine, bookings for the Navi can be done through an Android app. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Mahindra two-wheelers have showcased an electric scooter at the Indian Auto Expo this year. Called Gen Z, the vehicle made its global debut in the US back in 2014. The one that is being showcased here is the next-gen version of the scooter. Max range and max speed of the Gen Z 2.0 is identical at 48 kmph. In the US, the scooter is manufactured at Mahindra's facility in Michigan. If at all, the system would be launched in India is still unknown. For more on the Auto Expo, check out the videos on our channel. Mahindra two-wheelers showcased Mojo Scrambler and Adventure concepts at the ongoing Auto Expo in Greater Noida. The Mojo Scrambler concept is a modified bike where almost every part of the bike has been modified. The Mojo Adventure on the other hand is transformation of a sports bike into an off-roader. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. In what could be a breakthrough for the scooter segment in India, Piaggio has unveiled its Aprilia of the ongoing Auto Expo. The scooter looks nothing like what we normally see in India and bears close resemblance to the one sold in Currently being manufactured at Baramati in Maharashtra, the Aprilia will be launched in April later this year. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Team Suzuki is not giving up on the Hayate just yet. In a bid to push the sales figure of the bike a little higher, the company has showcased a new version named Hayat EP. This typically commuter bike will be launched in the near future. The price and other specifications of the bike will be made clear then. The Hayat HP is powered by a 112.8cc single-cylinder air-cooled SOHC engine which produces a peak output of 8.9 PS.
For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. At this year's Auto Expo, TVS is showing off a lot of concepts quite unusual for an Indian company. Among the concepts that are being showcased by TVS is the Akula 310 racer. In fact, the bike is TVS's fully fared interpretation of the BMW G310R. The Akula 33 marks TVS's 33 years in the racing circuit and it is just a concept and will not be productionized. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. A pretty unusual looking concept scooter has been unveiled at the Auto Expo by TVS. Named in Torque 210, the concept is powered by a 212.5cc engine and has been developed completely in-house by TVS. According to TVS, the Entorq 210 is meant to be a high-performance scooter for riding within cities and cruising at highways. The scooter can reach a top speed of 120 kmph. For more from the Auto Expo, follow the subscribe Indian Drives channel here on YouTube. TVS has showcased a rather futuristic looking concept racer called X21 at the ongoing Indian Auto Expo. The concept is based on the recently launched RTR200. It is a semi fared bike designed for racing. The bike is powered by a 212.4cc single cylinder air cooled engine. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. An all-new scooter named Cygnus Ray ZR has been unveiled by Yamaha at the Indian Auto Expo yesterday. Aimed at the young male population, the Cygnus Ray ZR is powered by an air-cooled 4-stroke SOHC 2-valve 113cc blue core engine. The scooter is lightweight and has quite good performance figures for a scooter in this segment. The scooter will be launched in the country later this year. For more from the Indian Auto Expo, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.